Hey guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Okay, today we're going to be load testing the Duramax 9000 to its full max load, okay? We're going to do it on gas and propane. So we got the gas in here and we have the propane connected. I'm going to test it on the propane first. I'll kind of go through what the setup I have right here. I have a 7,200 watt heater and a, another heater over there. I'm going to be using another 500 watts off that uh, heater. As you know, this one on gas, it goes up to running watts 7,600. And on propane, running watts goes up to 7,200. So that's 7,200 by itself. I'm going to use an extra 400 watts on here to get the full max load. Let's see where the overlight, overload light comes on. And let's see where it overloads at, okay? And even shut off. All right, guys, let me go through the setup. I already got everything connected. So uh, let's get the test started, all right? Okay, guys, the Duramax XP9000IH. Let's show you some stats on the back. Starting watts on gas, 9,000 watts. Running watts on gas, 7,600. Starting watts on propane, LP gas, 8,550. And running watts on propane, 7,200. Okay, guys, let's see if we can get those numbers, okay? We're going to start the test off on propane. I already got the propane hooked up, connected. We're going to do it on propane first. We're going to see where the overload light comes on and then see if it shuts off and overloads, okay? This heater right here pulls 240 volts at 7,200 watts. And this is your standard heater, 1,500 watts. There is a selector where it pulls 500, 1,000, uh, 1,200, and 1,500. I'm just gonna be using the first one, okay? So let's get the test started. So I have the 240 volt monitor hooked up here and the 120 volt hooked up here. So we're going to be measuring every watt coming out of this. Uh, and we'll also use this meter right here to see exactly what we're pulling total. Okay, so we're going to fire it up on propane. Let's get our propane tank over here. Okay, open the tank. We have gas. So before you run your Duramax 9000 on propane, this is your selector switch. Fuel selector. So you'll have gas or propane. See, LPG right there. This right here, fuel, you go to, this is off. So you'll keep, uh, this on off when you're running off propane, okay? Because I already connected the propane right here. So the only thing you need to do is go to LPG, the power right here, and then push your start button. Okay guys, so right now we're running off the propane, okay? It shows 120. This is your uh, power wattage right here. As you can see, I said I have right about two hours on this generator, okay? Okay guys, we got everything connected. We're running off LP. Right here. And you can tell we're running off LP because your selector switch is on LP and your fuel is off, okay? Let's turn on this heater right here. And that's also on eco mode. Okay guys, as you can see you're pulling that's uh, almost 7,200 watts, okay? That's the max rated load. No overload light yet, 
so we're right at 119 volts 7.2 let's try to put a little more on that okay so the Duramax will run max load on LP 500 7,000 700 oh and that's it that's good that's what you guys want to see you want to see that overload light comes on and trip the circuit okay so on propane I mean we pulled 7,700 watts on propane before the, the breaker go, went off okay let's shut it down let's turn our propane off okay, so propane is off I'm just gonna leave it connected turn off the main so now we're gonna turn the fuel to run okay I'm gonna turn it to run turn this to gas just to make you guys feel better I'm gonna disconnect the propane so I have no confusion okay guys the propane is disconnected okay so now you know we're on 100% pump gas switch the gas turn that on get some power <coughs> all right we're on pump gas first we're going to turn on the uh, 240 volt 7200 watts okay Alright guys, let's turn on the second heater. That's $7,700. Alright, there you go guys. So, the Duramax, that's really, really surprising to me because usually on propane you don't get that much power you can't match gas so it's pulling the exact same amount of power on propane as it is on gas and that's really really odd and oh that's that is wild that's really good Low tested the Duramax 9000 and surprising to me it's pulling the exact same wattage on propane as it is on gas and both of them are over the uh, maximum it says it says on gas is 7600 propane is 7200 but we're getting 7700 on either propane or gas that's awesome that's awesome I'm surprised okay so there you have it we're gonna do the uh 9500 we're gonna do the same test on the 9500 and see what we get guys thanks for watching this quick load test of the duramax 9000 i hope you enjoyed it i hope this helps you you know so you won't have to uh go into it blind you know exactly what you're getting so in that case if you can figure out your wattage you need for your house you know exactly what your uh, peak wattage will be so i would kind of I wouldn't, I wouldn't run my generator at that much uh, wattage. You know, I like to stay around 50 to 80%, but at least you know your output. And that's what this is about. I'm gonna get the comments, oh, I would never run my generator that high, but guys, that's why I'm here. I'm here to low test these generators for you, so you know what to expect, okay? You know what to expect when you buy the generator.
7,700 watts on gas or propane. Okay, so there you have it, the Duramax 9000, fully load test, overloaded, like you guys asked. Guys, thanks for watching my channel. Please subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye.